Hello, this is Tire Seeker. My name's Steve Sutcliffe, and this should be another cracking comparison test about ultra high performance tires. Set one is the original equipment Pilot Sport Cup 2 from Michelin. Set two is a more affordable and in theory less dynamic alternative called simply the Bridgestone Potenza Sport. Question is, does the Bridgestone spoil the GT4 or, whisper this, does it make it a more usable car in the real world? Where not all the roads we drive on are as dry and perfect as a racetrack like this. Where some of the roads indeed look a bit more like this. Well, that's what we're here to find out. So buckle up, this one could get quite tasty. Dry track first, how good and how quick would the GT4 be with a nice, fresh set of Cup 2s fitted? Well, here you go. It is pretty blinking sensational with a set of absolutely brand new, fresh, toasty Cup 2s. It's just got so much bite at both ends. And the grit mid-corner from the Cup 2s it's just rude, but probably most of all is what it what it feels like under brakes. You just come up to a braking area, gently to begin with, because you don't want to engage the anti-lock system, and then from about a quarter of a second onwards, absolutely lean on them. And it just it just stops on a sixpence on these tires, does the GT4. And the feel of progression it has as you get near the limit mid-corner, it's quite rude. It starts to slightly redesign the shape of these bits of your face. It's got that much grit. Anyway, I've done a lap time on the Cup 2s and it's a 101 dead. I'd be fairly amazed if the Bridgestone Sport, because it's, it's just an ultra high performance tyre, not an ultra, ultra high performance tyre, remember. If it gets anything under two seconds, I'll be very, very impressed. But before that, here's a little bit about our sponsor. At etires.co.uk, they sell tyres. Lots and lots of tyres. They don't care who wins our group tests, though, because they sell all kinds of tyres, but they do sell them at the best prices you'll find anywhere on the internet. So do yourself a favour if you fancy buying any of the tyres we feature in this test. Click on etires.co.uk because you won't find better prices anywhere else on the internet. Right, back to the comparison test. Right then, I've got the Bridgestone Potenza Sports on the GT4. There is a difference, for sure there is a difference. There is not as much bite from the front end. The steady state cornering is, it's very good on the Bridgestones and there is a lot of snap to it during a direction change, but it doesn't quite have that je ne sais quoi. It's very good, but it's not mind-blowing on the Bridgestones. The lap time is only one and a half seconds different, and I'm really impressed with that. I really didn't expect it to be that close, but it's a really good tyre, the Potenza Sport, a really good tyre. So the dry times were closer than I expected, for sure. But then the Bridgestone was still 1.4 seconds slower than the Cup 2. And on a shortish lap, that's still quite a difference. The Potenza Sport also didn't deliver the same snap as the Cup 2, under brakes or on turning. Nor did it generate as much outright grip mid-corner. Let's be totally clear about that. But answering the $64,000 question here was always going to be about what happens on the wet tracks relative to what had just taken place on the dry track. So that's where we headed next. And first up was the Bridgestone. We've put a set of Bridgestone Potenza Sports on it. And to be quite honest, that's kind of just what you want around a track like this, because these tires suddenly make this car feel a whole lot more manageable. The difference is still really surprising. It's flipping brilliant. There is a terminal speed. It's about there. <laughs> I saw that, I saw 86 miles on out of there. And at about 81, two, 
it just starts to rise up above the water and not even these Potenza sports can sort this thing out and it just starts to aquaplane it's because they're so fat anyway look bottom line is on Potenza sports the GT4 is totally and utterly delightful and usable on a wet road let's see what it's like on the Cup 2s so then the moment of truth how much slower and how much less drivable would the GT4 be on its Cup 2s around our soaking wet handling track. Right, here you go. <laughs> this, 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 this is the GT4 on the wet handling track on Cup 2s. It's not too bad under traction. The trouble is, if you generate too much speed down any straight and then go into a corner, rem remotely too fast there is no leeway you are, you've either got really not very much grip at all or none whatsoever and you just skate straight off and it is completely terrifying I'm in fourth gear and I'm doing 51 miles an hour and it still feels like it wants to let go immediately I haven't seen more than 66 miles an hour anywhere You've just got to be so careful under brakes because you just, the moment you touch the pedal, if you're going a tiny, tiny bit too quickly, you just get brrrr and you think, oh my God, <laughs> I'm about to have the lowest, most expensive accident anyone's ever had in the GT4. I've done 118.7, pretty much exactly 10 seconds a lap slower than the Bridgestone Potenza Sport. 10 seconds is a massive difference around a track as short as this, but subjectively, that gap feels even wider. In short, the GT4 feels perfectly drivable and safe and really quite enjoyable to drive on the Bridgestones in the wet, so long as you don't go above about 80 miles an hour when it starts to aquaplane. On the Cup 2s, it feels all but undrivable on this wet track at any speed. It really is as simple as that. But the big question is whether the extra bite the Michelins deliver in the dry is worth such a drastic trade-off in the wet. And the answer for us is probably no. But the solution is equally simple. In the summer and on a dry track, you'd want the Cup 2s. But in the winter, or if it rains, you'd want the Bridgestones. But if we could have just one set of tyres to drive a GT4 on in the UK all year round, it would probably be the Bridgestones, not the Michelins, because we'd have more fun driving it more of the time. So there you go. Cheers for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this comparison test. And remember, do check out etires.co.uk, because you won't find better prices for tires anywhere on the internet. Stay safe, and see you next time.